Oh, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm right here in Rockland, California at our CNC machine shop. And uh, I want to encourage everybody today, vote. I'm not here to tell you who to vote for, but I'm here to just say that this is serious. Like this is a serious time in our nation. And it's very important that you actually put your vote in. And 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 I wanna encourage you also to, to look at policy, look at the things that are valuable to you, right? One thing that's valuable to me that everybody knows is manufacturing, right? I love all people, I love all countries, and I, and I respect everyone, but I'm here in America, right? And I believe that manufacturing has to be at the core, it has to be a foundation for a country to rise. If you look at China, China has risen and built everything off of manufacturing, and partly because our country sold out manufacturing to other countries, right? Again, if you're in Australia, Brazil, China, get on it. Like, it's great that you're fighting to manufacture in your own countries. That is good because you have individuals that were born in your countries to make things. And if you don't take manufacturing serious, then you're not gonna be making things and those opportunities are gonna go away and that's when prisons start building up and, and, and you don't have opportunities for those around you that were created to build things, right? So manufacturing has to be a core. So one thing that I do when I look at elections is, you know, what kind of opportunities or is that person bringing to your country? right and people say like well you know prison reform is important absolutely and there's been laws on prison reform and all that happening but what kind of opportunities are you giving those who are coming out of prison right manufacturing gives opportunities because you don't have to go to college it's based on what you can create it's based on your workmanship it's based on the opportunities that are there for you People look at the inner cities of Chicago and Detroit and they say, well, there's gun violence and there's gangs and there's all these different things. And, and I'm like, look, like it wasn't always like that. Manufacturing left, a void happened and, and, and depression happened, right? And then drugs and gangs and all that happened. But we can change it by bringing back manufacturing. You know, some people say, well, we're gonna do American manufacturing, but it's gonna be in this industry. It's gonna be in this industry. And I'm saying, why focus on one industry? Let's do all industries. Let's do all industries. Let's like, let's make it happen for our people across the United States of America, right? Because manufacturing brings opportunities. You know, let's rebuild Detroit. Let's rebuild Baltimore. Let's bring, let's, let's bring education into those cities, but do it on a big scale. Do it, you gotta do it on a big scale. And then you can lure in these big companies, these massive biggest companies in the world. They contact me and say, Titan, we want to bring our work back to the States but we don't have a workforce to take care of it. And then I go and I talk to people from Chicago and they're like, you know, 30 people here and they're, they have students over here and students, but nobody's in unison and nobody's doing it to scale. We need to develop education to scale, to attract big business, right? So again, when, when I look at voting, I'm gonna look at a candidate that actually is pro-manufacturing, it's pro-business, it's, it's pro-making like making things happening and solving problems for all people, all colors, all nationalities, right? You know, I talked about, you know, the inner cities, I talked about, you know, different things. I'll say autism, autism, it's like one in 40 now have autism and we're paying them to stay home. We're paying parents to stay home with their kids. Well, CNC machining helps 
those with autism because it's it brings an opportunity for them to actually make good money because those with autism on the medium to high level they're great on computers they're great with repetition and they gain confidence through productivity and their workmanship and and then their life takes off so let's get them out of the the you know the homes where they're stuck on a computer and they have no hope and let's get them into a manufacturing plant where it's clean and they're making crazy rocket parts and they're making medical parts and they're doing things, right? Manufacturing solves problems. There are men and women all over this great nation that go to work every day and they build things. Let's work for policies to help them. You know, you see like California, you guys already know, I'm, I'm leaving California. I've done so much in this state. I've built my... My company in this state the state has been good to me in, in that i went for free to san quinn prison built a school and now are, we're building more and more schools throughout the prison system Mo many of the schools now have cnc machine shops and they're using our curriculum that we actually that we actually invented because no but greatest country in the world right our jobs get so sold out um, and there's no curriculum for teachers. There's no curriculum. Everybody has to figure it out on their own. Like who knew, right? When I found that out, I was like, you know what? Since nobody else is doing it, I'm going to dedicate my life to this trade. And I'm going to get into the nuts and bolts of teaching so that we can teach our students. We can teach the teachers because they don't know. And then we can teach machinists and shop owners, owners how to be successful. So encouraging you to vote right and look at the policies that are important to you it's not it's not always just about a person it's about it's about the laws and the policies that are important to you and and stand stand firm in that because uh for one again i'm just speaking to manufacturing if we bring manufacturing back, if we build things in our own countries and we, we build education and we stop giving throwaway machines to our students and bring real machines and real technology and train them to compete, then all of a sudden we're going to be able to, you know, buy houses and, and have our kids grow up and not have to move away and stuff and, and take care of different things. I started saying it earlier, you know, California let Tesla move away. You know, it's like, there's different arguments on it, but Texas brought them in, no problem. One thing that I know is like, you you can have all these people working in a manufacturing plant, right? And guess what? All these people, they're paying taxes to the government, right? So let's do what we can to keep manufacturing here so that it can employ these people because once manufacturing leaves, then the government has to go and 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 pay that money you know what i mean so it's like to those people and they could have had jobs in manufacturing you know so again i i come from nothing i come from nothing i i have no college education but i stepped into manufacturing and manufacturing changed my life manufacturing changed my life and i've seen millions of people millions like all over the world where manufacturing is changing people's lives technology is through the roof uh, ro robotics and and cnc machining we're building rockets spacex is taking astronauts up to the space station right blue origin now virgin is taking tourists up you know like it's all happening right now our kids can make these rockets but we have to fight for manufacturing so my vote is for manufacturing my vote my family's vote is for manufacturing it's it's for our country and if uh, no matter where you're at if you have a vote in your countries like it's about manufacturing it's it's about there's a lot of other things i'm not going to speak to all of it right but manufacturing gives a great life to many and when you have a great life and you have a great income coming in you have less violence in the home you have less divorces because people have the ability to take care of their bills and their families and and different things right you're you you can take care of your kids and put them through school manufacturing brings opportunities so we need to fight for manufacturing 
enough of seeing these jobs slip away, enough of not having awareness, enough of like not understanding and believing in manufacturing. We need to fight for manufacturing. We need to elect politicians that are pro-manufacturing and we need to take it very serious. For me, my faith is huge. It's, it's, it's the foundation of my life also and different things. So I'm gonna look at things in my life that I can look at and say, hey, I love all people, I love everybody. These things are, you know, super important to me. So let's actually go and um, elect people that that are all about the, you know, keeping that foundation solid. And that's 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 an individual's right. It's a, the greatest thing about our country is that we can vote, we can elect who we believe in. And I just encourage you guys to vote to vote all right love you guys love this country love the world again all religions all countries everyone boom get out and vote make it happen love you guys